Today, we're going to explore the world of Game Sense. I'm going to give you a few tips that you can use to improve the rate that you learn and get Game Sense inside of Counter Strike and just give you some advice that's going to help you understand what Game Sense is and how we can optimally understand how to build it and ways that you might be hurting yourself and losing some of your game sense. So before we get into the video, I do have a message from the sponsor of today's vid. Thank you to the sponsor of today's video, Skins Monkey. They are one of the greatest and easiest to use CS2 trading sites out there. You can swap out the skins you do not like for brand new ones that are so much more fresh. Even skins that are trade locked can be secured by adding them to your backpack. The greatest thing about the site is that you can buy skins for so much cheaper with a 35% deposit bonus when you use my code, Kojo. Make sure to check out the freebie section where you can get a free skin just by completing tasks. On top of the bonuses, you also get a $5 bonus when clicking the link in the description. All right, so let's talk about Game Sense. So, how do we develop Game Sense? If we look at it, Game Sense is essentially just understanding what is going on on your screen, around you, in the game, and making predictions based on all the things that are happening, right? I want you to think about Game Sense as kind of like you're an AI learning, right? You're an AI learning. That's you learning Game Sense, right? So, what do AIs do? They take all the data that they're given and they start to build off of it and learn and learn and learn. When you're new to the game, obviously you have like zero game sense, right? You don't know how people are gonna react based on the decisions you're making. So it is true that the only way you can build game sense really, or the most effective way is by just playing the game. Other ways that you can build it is watching pro matches, watching high level players, um, watching your demos back, that's a huge one because you can see in retrospect what people are doing and how they're reacting based on what the, the moves that you're making, right? Say like you come out ramp, and smoke off ticket right and you hear somebody's back there um it's like knowing how this person's going to react based on that smoke or knowing the flow chart i want you to think of flow charts right so essentially game sense is going to be you in your mind thinking of the flow chart that you are individually going to do based on your own decisions and what the opponents are going to do this is one of the most difficult things to actually master and, and get down inside of counter-strike because it is so complex and there's so many moving parts but I want you to think about it like I smoke off window here. Where's the window player going to react off of this? There's a lot of places he could do. Go and do. He could sit here inside of window. That is an option. He could rotate through jungle. That's an option. He could go through CT here. There's so many different ways that, you know, he could react to that. And game sense also changes from game to game based on the players that you're playing and how you are playing and what you're doing, right? So I throw that window smoke against one player, he's gonna just sit in it. I throw that window smoke against another player, he's gonna do a maniac play and jump through window, right? The rare cases he does. Game sense is me thinking and based on my experience in the past and in this game, what have they done in this game so far to predict how I'm gonna he's gonna react off that. If I'm in a game, I'm not always going to know what my opponents are going to do. We don't have that luxury, right? Opponent, but eventually, in even in one game, you can start to get a read and feel for what your opponents do. Okay, um, I'm underpass and I hear this guy rotate through jungle every time and come back around through connector. Well, you know what that's going to tell me? Now I'm going to ask my teammate to boost me in the window here because this guy is just leaving window wide open and I'm going to flank behind him. Right there is game sense. Why did I do that? Because I, I use my predictive AI brain to understand what he has been doing and he's gonna do it. And guess what? There is still going to be times where you fail. He could have done that every round, right? And you ask for this boost and you do that. And the round that you ask for the boost, he's holding you right here, you know, with an AK, right? He's holding you right here. He's holding the smoke and gets a free kill. Okay, we learn from it, right? It's about prediction and, and using that prediction to make the best moves. Just because you have game sense doesn't mean it's always going to work out for you, right? If that was the case, then the smartest players would win every time. But guess what? Sometimes dumb plays win and sometimes not using your brain is an effective thing that you can do, right? Game sense is like me hearing, okay, I hear one under Balk, right? So I know he's under Balk and maybe he fought my teammate and pushed into Palace. Now he did that. I know that I can path through sight here without clearing sight because the A player is in Palace and I can just crouch under here and start to take these fights. Oh, nobody spotted me. Okay, nobody spotted me. I'm looking Palace and I'm just walking through here and doing this. Why did I do that? Because my game sense told me that the A player pushed Palace. There's nobody else on site because of my experience and in, in, in this game, I know they're playing 1A and I'm walking through here, right? Well, what a lot of you guys do is like, okay, your brain tells you there's a guy in Palace and you just start walking here and then you're like shifted like this and 
the guy is like in palace and spots you right he's coming out here and he's trying to he's gonna be ready for people walking out a and he spots you maybe he doesn't even kill you but now now it's up now they know where you're at and you're in such a bad spot right versus him spotting he's like guys nothing out a i see nothing a and you just found this gap a, a lot of times finding these gaps is just pure game sense man right it's like also on ct side it's like okay um my teammates are calling two mid i hear a guy palace Man, I'm just gonna take this 1v1 A ramp. I'm just gonna assume, like, I'm gonna assume based on my game sense and experience inside of this game that they've only been sending one towards A. They're heavy mid and heavy underpass and B. Okay, now my game sense let me take this gap and do this. It's not random, right? It's using your brain to predict and, and to make these flow charts, right? And also, it's like, okay, you know, what, when the T's are out mid, what have they been doing? What are they likely going to do based on the utility that they're throwing? Obviously, it's something as simple as, okay, they smoke top con. I'm assuming that they're going to work cat now. They're going to try to take these fights, right? Versus, oh, they smoke cat. I'm assuming that they're going to work con uh, or boost in a window or take this ladder control. It's just like seeing all this stuff and then understanding what you predict that they're going to do off of it. It's It can be a good thing and a bad thing, right? It's why sometimes when I play lower level players that, you know, they throw this con smoke, right? <laughs> they literally throw this con smoke. They know there's a player right behind the smoke. What do they do? They just come through here, walk through and like a noob, and just kill you right and it's like they they killed you right they, they killed you because they made like a, a a dumb play that was confident right so sometimes it can hurt you like when i play bad players sometimes like if i don't take control of the situations and i don't dominate sometimes sometimes they can destroy me because i'm just like what are they doing man like what is that right like what is that like you just shouldn't be doing that it, even though it was a good play so don't get me wrong like i can't be mad because that play worked it was the best play they could have done in that moment but it's just, you know, it, it's something that you build over time and you can't really teach game sense. It's something that you have to unlock in your brain and you have to be able to think about these flow charts and and think about the the round as like a as a as a data, right? As data and flow charts and you're the AI that's learning based on all of this information, right? It's like, oh, this guy, when they're running up cat, they're not clearing ladder, right? They're just running up cat. Dude, well, that's awesome for me. Now I, because of the data I collected, I'm gonna sit in here. Oh, they're Okay, don't make noise. Oh, they're all running past cat. Okay, we're gonna sneak down behind them now. Oh, three people up cat. Good game, game over. Three man spray down, we win the round. Kojo, how are you so good? How did you know that? How did you do that play in the moment? Well, you see, I knew they were just gonna run past cat because three rounds in a row when they went cat, they didn't even clear a ladder room, right? Just doing stuff like that. Or you wonder why sometimes like pros are playing anti-flash in one game and then another game they're doing what i just showed you maybe i know that they're flashing ladder every single time they're taking it they're flashing it right but that flash actually could turn into a bad thing for them because i could know that flash is coming because they've done it every time and just sit here playing anti-flash and then i i peek out and kill them right or i'm i'm on an off angle they flash boom easy kill right even when people are doing the right thing if you use your game sense and your predictive ai brand you can outplay them even if they're doing the right play. It's why Counter-Strike is so frustrating. It's so hard. It's so complex. It's so beautiful though. I love it. So if you guys want to see this in action, go ahead and check out my Twitch. I'm live every single weekday. I'm grinding. I would mean so much to me if you guys drop me a follow and support me over there. Also, I am doing individual coaching sessions. You guys can fill out the form in the description of the video. Um, the slots are filling up pretty fast, so I, I'm not sure if I'm going to have time for any more students, but definitely fill that out if that's something you're interested in and we can discuss and get that going. So thank you so much for watching this video. You all are amazing. I want you to keep grinding, never give up. Check out my past videos I made. I have some great advice for you and that'll help you on your career. So always free content on YouTube. I love you guys so much. Peace out. Bye.